Hi everyone. I'm here to share the latest journal that I've made with you and I put my little friend here because she kind of goes along with the journal, um, the feel of the journal. However, I'm going to have to move her because I can't show you at the same time. So, this doesn't really have a theme. Um, or a story. It's just some pretty things and the cover um, is kind of a soft cover. It's not a floppy soft cover, but it's it's not a hard covered book. <clears throat> I used um, a file folder that was scrunched up and waxed, a technique that I learned from Sharon Hearth. And then I covered it with lace and layered it um, with all kinds of fancy things. Put little charms there it can come off. I also need to mention that um, this beautiful slow stitched piece right here was done by uh, Viv of Hen's Teeth and um, she's on Instagram and I think if you go to her bio you can find her shop but she makes beautiful um, wonderful fun whimsical slow stitched pieces and that was the inspiration for the journal it's pretty chunky so I open it up and the inside covers lined with an old ledger page and then a lace pocket and <clears throat> this journaling card, which actually, I guess you can't journal on it because the back is covered with um, a piece of vellum that's got wonderful, wonderful uh, calligraphy on it. And this is just a little scrappy. Over here, we have a, a lace tuck with a journaling card and this was made from um, digital kit by Dodie Williams of uh, Dorothy Jane Papery on Etsy and she did these wonderful um, tinted these photographs and they're very soft and it's just perfect and so um, I encourage you to go check her out on Etsy and then over here I have a fabric pocket with some lace And a sweet New Year card, which is the Victorian. And just a little piece of a journal with bubbly writing. And here, this page is cut down from a very large page from an 1860s um, album. There was some original art, and these pages are were embossed, and so I just cut around. There was nothing in the middle on the original pages, so I just cut around to <clears throat> make them smaller and, and um, maintain this frame. And over here's um, a, a snippet I made into a pocket, and the snippet's from uh, Chrissy's Attic on Etsy. A couple of calling cards. And some lace and just some stamping. And then over here, another lace tuck and a calling card shaped like a fan. And a sweet little uh, Merry Christmas card. Whole document. Here's a tuck. And I'm not sure where this came from. Um, I think it might be another one of um, Dodie's from Dorothy Jane Papery. I think it was included in something I bought from her. And um, <clears throat> this is from a Peterson's Ladies book from 1859. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... This is a 
something to do with insurance shares. Not quite sure what. I think it's almost an instruction thing. Let me just tuck in here. And um, this is some uh, wallpaper, pretty garish, <laughs> uh, from France. And um, I added this Victorian scrap. And this is um, just paper clipped in. It's a Victorian scrapbook piece. You can journal on the back. And we have a side tuck with um, it's like an eyelet or like almost like a white work kind of um, pattern. And it has a little paper flower. And then I created this. Um, this tag's got a little tuck spot. It's got this. You can journal on the back of that. And the wax seal. And this is from a Victorian scrapbook. I just thought with the gold and it just went perfect. And over here is a pocket made from an old antique document and some Florentine paper and some lace. And then I took the same Florentine paper and backed this sweet Victorian card. It's actually a Christmas card. Journal. And then it, this little part of the pocket, you can just, it's like a, not the lace, but behind the, this part is like a belly band almost. And it's just one of those little tea bag photos. And it just slips like so. And little butterflies. And um, this pocket was made from um, a tracing paper, a piece of tracing paper that I copied onto and then made into a bag and um, turned it into a pocket. And um, the crepe paper ruffle and um, some vintage trim. And if you want to know how to make these, um, Ruby and Pearl XO Heather of... Um, Ruby and Pearl has a tutorial on her YouTube channel. All pretty easy and they're fun. An old postcard. And another tag. It's got a pocket. And I don't, someone gave me this. I'm not, not sure. I don't remember where it came from. But it went nicely. Over here, clipped in. Is a copy of an envelope that I made because look at that wonderful script. So, um, inside I just tucked an old photograph of some ladies and um, copied an old receipt or check. And this is, um, I copied this on newsprint. And it's from either a Godey's Ladies Book or Peterson's. It's very sweet. This waxed napkin. Here's a pocket with um, a lady peeking out. <laughs> I was trying to decide what to put in this pocket, and I found her, and I thought that was so cute. And so it's a little French postcard. And this is um, an old French receipt. Ledger page, the old document, music. This is the center of the signature, and then it's a beautiful painting of Old Surrey Cottage, and 
I tied these wonderful little crochet um, doodads, baubles. I don't know what decor, they're some sort of decoration. I'm sure they were part of a trim. Oh, here's the rest of that document. And then little girl postcard. Over here is another envelope with um, some really pretty script. And this goes inside. I forgot to put it back. Since I have to do this, I had to do this video over and I forgot to put these back in. This is just an old book page that I printed on. Some graphics, fairy uh, images. And that actually tucks. Tucks right in here, like so. And there's the rest of the ledger page. This beautiful 1896. And this just unclips, and it's um, it's a little scrappy, doodly thing. And it's just uh, clipped together with a brad, so you can take it apart. And over here, also clipped on the other side, this is a pocket I made from an old document with another one of those gorgeous um, tinted photographs from Dorothy Jane Papery. And another top tuck pocket journaling card. And um, an old French letter. Eighteen seventy six. This is from that 1860s album as well. It's the back side, and I just added some piece of a trim that I um, used the rest of it for something. And some vellum, tea dyed vellum. And this is a Tim Holtz pocket that I put a um, piece of mica behind. And another one of those wonderful photographs. You can journal on the back. She just slides right in. It's a belly band. Actually goes through the whole way. With a journaling card that someone gave me. I, I'm not sure who, but I thought it went nicely with this. Of that wallpaper with another Victorian scrap, antique document with a tag that I made. It's got an old Victorian um, scrap. This pocket is from a um, on Etsy. It's called the Padded Heart. I think. I hope I'm right. And she makes these wonderful slow stitched hearts and other things. So I made it into a pocket. It's got another old um, trade card and a sweet little girl. Here's the rest of that um, embossed frame. And these ladies are really pretty. They are um, obviously were never put in a scrapbook. And this is just a flip, a lace flip. You can journal under there. And it's just held in place with a, a little piece of Velcro. Another one of Chrissy's uh, snippets made into a kind of a, a belly band at the top. <laughs> And a um, calling card and an original photograph. And 
here's the last page and um, the inside covers lined with um, this is from a Peterson's magazine from 1859 and another one of these lovely photos and another and that's it there you have it I hope you enjoyed this little flip through and um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for your comments. Everything is so much appreciated. And um, I will be putting in, I'm hoping, at least three journals um, in a couple of weeks into my Etsy store. I'm still working on them. So um, I'm hoping I'll get Mm, at least two more done so again thank you for watching i hope all everyone is well and i'll see you soon bye